So, what's your story? Hi, my name is Brian Lape. Welcome again to uh, Keys to Your Success. So, I've got a bunch of questions people are asking me, and we're going to do a series of a frequently asked question videos a la Pink Shirt. But the thing I'd like to do in the first one is my story. And uh, we'll get to the, again, that is a question people ask me, you know, do I need a story? Why do I need a story? How do I get a story? What is my story? Would anybody care about my story? And we'll get to all those in a minute, in a minute, in other videos. So today I'd like to give you a little bit about my story, my background, uh, what I like to do, kind of use um, the form on myself. So who am I? My name is Brian Lape. And by training and by trade, I am a computer programmer, study computer science. Freak. Right now, I'm a manager of development. So if somebody wants to form me, and they would ask me about my family. And I'd say, well, I've been married about 18 years, 19 years. I don't even know how long anymore. Almost 20. I have two kids, uh, two dogs, two cars, that kind of stuff. And, uh, you know parents still living, my wife's parents still living, uh, we live in Cincinnati, Ohio, my parents are, are close by, her parents live in Richmond, Virginia, we try to travel uh, to see them all as much as we can, it is a long trip, and uh, the distance sometimes gets to be a problem. Now, in all fairness, we lived in the area, well, we lived in Marion, Ohio, while my parents were in Germany, and uh, then various circumstances happened to us here. So by now, in the form, you're really not paying attention, but that's okay. So, what do I like to do? If I said my occupation, I'm a computer programmer, and what do I like to do for fun, right? Do I like to get out of the house? What's the type of things that I like to do? Well, I like to do several things. One is I like to make beer when I can find the time. It's incredibly time-consuming, but well worth it, especially if you do all grain, which is what I'm been getting more and more into. I mean, I have a seven gallon pot I put on the stove and you talk about taking a forever to boil an electric stove. <sighs> Takes a while. I like to work out. Uh, I like going to the gym. I like lifting weights. I find that weightlifting gives my, my body the best expression of, of things. Back 20, 30 years ago when I was younger, I used to run a lot. My lower back, my knees are okay with it. It's my lower back that starts to say, hey, uh, yeah, let's try something else. And uh, so I've read a lot of fitness magazines. I eat a relatively low, you know, high protein diet, low uh, carbs, especially uh, the simple ones. I try to stay away from processed foods as much as I can. I'm not a zealot, so if I have to have pancakes, I'll eat them with bacon, of course. So I also like to ski. I'm on ski patrol. And other things is I like helping people, not just through these videos, not just through business, but one of the major reasons 21 years ago I got on ski patrol was to help people. I grew up, I was a Boy Scout when I was younger. I liked to uh, train people. I liked to help people. And Ski Patrol was one of those first real expressions that I could do. Started over in Gatlinburg. Here I'm at Perfect North. When you come across somebody on the snow, frightened, especially when they're a kid. I mean, they're eight, nine, ten years old. They know something's wrong. Their knee hurts. Their arm hurts. Their arm's doing funny things. They're bleeding or what have you. They're really freaked out. And you really got to put on, a, 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 present an aura of confidence to that child. Not a poker face so much as you need to be empathetic. You need to sympathize with them. But you, they need to understand that very quickly, hey, you know what you're doing and you're going to help. And you're going to find mommy and daddy and you're going to help them. And you're going to help them get off the hill and, and onto a better care or more care, more urgent care. So anyway, so that's what I like to do. So uh what motivates me, the M part of form? Well, what really motivates me is helping other people. I, I realized this, oh, I don't know, 15 years ago or so, when I helped train, helped teach a class, and I watched these people who just couldn't get it, just couldn't get it, suddenly they got it. Suddenly they understood. And it was thrilling for me to see somebody, their eyes go wide open and they stand erect. I get it. I understand. I can do it myself. 
that's amazing. When I watched my kids, when they learned to ride a bike and they didn't need my help anymore, yeah, I felt a little bit lost, but to watch them go and to know they could just get on the bike and go whenever they wanted, oh, to see that thrill on their face was just so unbelievably awesome. And that's my motivation. Thank you.